little shop update, I guess. I don't know. Uh, tutorial. This is an MTX 8500, uh, 15 inch, dual forum, uh, reconed by David Moore over at PSI. The failure on this was the tinsels. You could say clipping, so but it burned out right there. So, David uses uh, CA, which I'm not a fan of, and the triple joint. So, looks like it held up good. The coil is not burned, but I'm just not a fan of those tinsels. So, um, not sure what happened with this, the surround, but whatever. And then um, he chopped a, a, a regular wraparound gasket on top to finish it off, which it ended up looking pretty good. So, but uh, one of the one of the problems here on these terminals is a lot of people like this terminal, even though it's it's a little difficult to work with. So, what I've done is uh, the one that comes with this, the four gauge or this little uh, tab. I've modified the tab to look like that. So then it goes in there like that. And so then we crimp and solder to that, and then that gets stabbed in there. Uh, MTX actually does a, um, they do the leads and then they solder the tips so that way they don't get crushed. So, but there's no way that I'm going to fit that in that little tiny hole. So you got to use something else. So that's what I did. And so this will sit on there. This uses a standard nine and a quarter, 9.2 spider. So it'll sit on there like that. And then we'll do the boots on it, uh, red and black. And, uh, this one will actually be dual to the, um, the coils we were actually able to recover, but... Um, my Slim Jim coil, which is made of copper, is heavier, and so I think it'll do better in this application. So, um, just heavier soft parts, heavier coil um, ends up playing lower, which is what this guy wants. He wants it good daily. Uh, the 8500 is good. I think MTX rates it for 1,000 watts. It actually does uh, close to 1,500. It's got a lot of steel on it. So, as you can see, I think that's David's signature. Uh, no, it's got the the cap is a uh, aluminum which helps heat sink not much, but whatever I think more of anything It just helps guide the coil from when it leaves the gap. So um, you really should use the uh, mega roll on this one because um, uh, It does have quite a bit throw especially we're putting a 60 millimeter wine height coil in there um, again, it's the slim Jim uh, d2 is what we're doing and he's got the um, What is it called? Uh, well, music, Mr. Music Man sells it, and then uh, it tested 5400 at uh, 1 ohm. Uh, it's a big uh, half-bridge Korean amp design. And uh, so I think I posted it in my things. We have it, and some guy in Tucson had uh, rebadged his version. I don't know if he bought it from me or bought it from Oscar, but uh, it also does 7K at half an ohm. So we're going to run it at half, and even though I'm not a fan of that, but, you know, he wants... Maximum awesome. So there you go. But um, I wanted to show you that to solve that problem. Other than that, I'm not a big fan of these. What I end up doing is taking that lip off so I can put a regular wraparound gasket on them. Um, it changes the look, but the gasket covers it up, so it's not a big deal. Um, but other than that, these aren't too bad. It's the 9500 that gives me problems I don't like. So the other one I wanted to show you was this one. This is the Orion HCCA. Uh, I've been trying to get these cones on all week and I just haven't had time to get to them um, but uh, I ended up putting the bolts on there through the factory holes that are for the removable um, cone assembly and so that's what bolts the spider down really nice and then um, I was trying to find the terminals I, I had this is my first guess and then I ended up going in uh, that way uh, and then just using a regular uh, 8 gauge terminal instead of a 4 gauge so it ended up turning out really nice and it stays out of the way uh, the path of when you're putting it in the box so because it's we trimmed that's what we did with this one this was the HCCA and we just trimmed it and made it round so it'll use the wraparound gasket so and then of course the other side I also found uh, these these are from the these terminals are from the P3s and they're extra long which is what I needed so but uh, other than that have a happy Saturday I love you guys thank you for watching